everyone, I'm Emily Powers, and in this video I'm going to be painting a ladybug and some water droplets with acrylic paint. Um, this is not a full tutorial like I normally do. Um, I've already done the background and the leaf, so it's just going to be like a real quick how to paint just the ladybug and the water droplets. So uh, the background was pretty simple. I'll put in the description also the colors I use for the background. But I have in the description the colors that I'm using for the ladybug and the water droplets and like the canvas I'm using. This is actually a Arteza DIY frame. It's a 5 by 6.6 .6 inch. When it's folded it comes in like a sheet of paper. And it also has, I never realized this until I went to figure out how to hang it because it has no wood. It's just folded thick paper basically. So you can put a nail on the wall and just put it in this um, part that has some holes um, in here. So that's how you can hang these. And I think I'm probably going to do this whole ladybug and water droplets video with this number one round. It's a Princeton Velvet Touch brush and um, there's also a link in the description um, to the brush guys where you can get 5% off the brushes when you use the code EMILYART and there's also some other um, there's some links for some of the other supplies I'm using like the paint and stuff and also I have the link to my Etsy shop in the description too so um, I'm just going to go ahead this is probably going to be a really quick uh, painting I'm, this is like part of my off week where I, I'm still, I said in one of my other videos, I'm kind of making it an off week by uh, making short videos so you can still have a video but it will be much shorter so that I can kind of have a break. Alright, so I'm going to get, this is Mars Black, but you can use whatever black you want. Really any of these colors that I'm using. If you don't have the same one, that's fine. You can just use whatever you have. So I'm going to put the ladybug like right in here, but this is just going to be the shadow that I'm putting in right now. So I'm going to put in right in here. A shadow for the ladybug and I will get some water and water down that paint so that as I go out it can be kind of thinner and I can just kind of blend that thick paint out Just blend it out like that so it won't be super dark or anything and I'm getting it out too far over on this side so I'm just going to get my brush and just wipe it off if I dip it in the water and then go back then I can wipe off any paint that's still wet hasn't dried yet Alright, so there's a shadow for where I want my ladybug. And I, since I just finished painting this leaf, I don't... Well, I don't know. I might could go ahead and do the first step of the ladybug. This is vermilion, this orange color. Um, but you could use, like, probably cadmium orange with some cadmium red medium or something like that. Make it darker. Um, I'm going to get some white with it because orange and yellow those kind of colors tend to not cover well so by adding some water you can make sure that they cover the green in the back good Pull that down. 
So I'm just gonna like make a base for where I want my ladybug. And put some extra white if it's still not covering good. And then I'll rinse my brush out. You could draw this out with some chalk or like a watercolor pencil, something like that you, that you can wipe off if you need to. But I'm not doing that just because it's so small that it's pretty simple to just draw in with a paintbrush. But if it's still hard for you, if you would rather use something and actually draw it in before you start painting, then that's fine. I'm right now I'm just doing the black like his head. Alright. So there's the basic outline there. So I'm just going to let that dry and I'll work on some water droplets. If you just want to learn to paint the ladybug then you can just fast forward the water droplets but I thought I would show that. So with this um, the leaf what it's sitting on is green. So normally whatever the water droplet is on, there's going to be some of that color in there. Like you can see through. So if this was not green, you wouldn't like add any green like onto it if the surface that the water drop was on wasn't green, if that makes sense. But um, I'm just going to basically do like some like the shadows and highlights of the water drop. So I'm going to put down some dark and then I can put get some water and just blend it a little bit. Blend it like that. And I'll come around on this side. There's like a shadow from the water drop over here. There's a little bit over here too. All right. Go like all the way around. All right, so you've got some of that. Now we're going to need some white. So this is mixing white. You could use titanium white, that's fine, but this is a little bit more transparent and I hardly ever use it, so I thought this would be a good time to use it when I want something a little bit more transparent. I want it to be able to like see through a little bit to the green back there. Just gonna brush some over. I can even take some titanium white where it's the brightest and put some of that. highlight on the dark side. So like that. Pretty simple water drop. And of course you could make it more realistic by painting it a different way probably, but I'm going to 
just do lots of these little water drops and really they're each one is going to be a little different so like some of them may not have as much of the dark it might be more of just like a white like this one doesn't have quite as much of a dark color as some other ones do I can take that titanium white and make it brighter on one side there we go so you can just do that there might be a little bit of a shadow underneath that one kind of sort of looks like it's floating a little bit so I'll just water down that black And this is really fun to do these little water drops. Um, that ladybug is still pretty wet because I laid the paint down pretty thick. If you use really thick paint, it will take much longer to dry. And if you go over it when it's still drying then it will probably want to lift the color off and make like this it looks to me kind of like a hole in the paint like it lifts the paint off but I had a problem right here on this leaf it was wanting to show the black through and it took a while for it to dry because I kept wanting to keep working on it and it just wasn't drying so Alright, good. So, you can even in a few spots just take your small, like your thin white and just kind of make like a small semicircle, and that'll be enough to kind of show that there's a, a water drop there without doing too much more because it's like so small maybe it's hard to see Need some water because it's drying a little bit. There we go.
So by the time we do most of these water drops, that ladybug should be dry. All right, now this one is actually up above the blade of grass. So I'm going to fill that in and then I'll take some of my white to fill it in, make it more opaque. And then take the black to help it to have it looks more 3D when you use the black and the white. But it really can look like when you put just a little bit of shadow and a little bit of highlight, it can really look like the water drop is like popping off the canvas. Alright, now there's one that is right under the leaf, like right in here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do a circle. And I'm going to do A little bit of white inside. You can take a little bit of yellow. Make it yellow a little bit, like it's reflecting some of the yellow in the leaf. some of these I can just put small little bitty white circles right now there's a big a big uh, water drop right here so I'm gonna put that in big water drop black. Let's go back and forth. The black up above. I'll just take my water. Just go back and forth. I want it to have like a little bit of like a dark, dark color right in here. Alright, and then I'll get my bright white. Take some black 
underneath the white. Seems like the ladybug is kind of ready for another coat, maybe? There we go. Yeah, it's dry. So I'm going to see if, if this dark orange will cover or if we need another coat of the other. Mm, I think that's probably good. So I'm going to just coat it with this vermilion, this dark orange. All right, just give it another coat, and then I'll give the black another coat too, and then we'll let that dry. Again, to darken that shadow. And I'll make it transparent. I'll get my brush with some water and then just... That's what I'm doing really with all the water drops is I'm, I'm putting, I'm taking some of my white first and putting it down where I want. Do two of them here, and then see that one's actually it's filled in more. All right, then I'm rinsing my brush out so it doesn't have that paint in there, but then I'm going back and I'm just kind of blending it out with my wet brush, and then I'm taking some thinned out black. Do the top of them. And then I rinse my brush out so that I don't have that thick black color and I go back and soften up the edge. And if I want more black, I can just add a little bit more, wipe it off, and so doing that technique can really help, I think. It helps me when I'm doing it to put it down and then rinse it out and just kind of blend the color out. Then when you do the shadow, do the same thing. Put it down the darkest right underneath. And then rinse the brush and just kind of make it not so thick. Okay, now I'm just fade, making it fade out. There's another water drop that's up above here, but it comes up above the leaf, and you can see the background back behind it. just put some down you 
This is actually kind of sort of more like a water drop tutorial than ladybug because I'm waiting for the ladybug to dry as I'm doing it. To do there's going to be one right by the ladybug to get some white and just put it all in here. And I'm running out of my mixing white, so I'll just get some more of that. put out very little of my paint because I knew I wouldn't need a whole lot for this small stuff here. Alright, there's a water drop right behind Ladybug. gotten some orange in my handle and I'm just not realizing it. There we go. Alright. You might want to be careful because sometimes you do pick up paint and you don't realize it. You want to be careful not to get it on your background which this might not be too too hard to cover back up because it's mainly black in the background but you still don't want to have to cover it back up if you don't have to I'm just going to do a few more We're going to do one here. going to be a few up here that are just going to be white only. Just do a few dots.
So now we'll go ahead and do the sleigh back here. Um, oof, still wet there. Because it's still drying. But I can work on the black. So I'm just going to get some of the black. There's kind of like another section right here. Alright, and I'm going to get some of my white. Make it look gray. And do slight line right there. Just a little bit of highlight on the back. And if I have the black, I can put the, can kind of fade it out. All right, and then. Just take some titanium white, and there's going to be two dots. Oops. I'm going to cover that back up because it's. get just a little bit on my brush and we're gonna do one two that and then there's gonna be a bigger one like a bigger white spot right back here get some black and put some black out a little bit past that black there. Okay, I'm just looking at it closer. I'm going to see, I'm going to take some of this orange Cover that back up, and I'm going to take some of my cadmium yellow with it. And some white, so it's just a little lighter, and put it on the back. we go. And then I'll take my cadmium red medium and put that underneath. Alright, cadmium red with some black. There we go. So that way it's got a little bit of dark on one side, a little bit of light on the other side. All right, and then we will do the dark spots. 
And if you were doing this, I would try waiting until like the red and the spots were dry. Let me that one is a little came out too far. So I would wait until the spots and the orange was dry before I did the white highlight because if you mess up on that, it could make it a mess. So, oops, you pick that back up. I don't want it that watered down. And there's a black spot right in front here. And then a spot right here. Alright. So you would probably, if you can, want to wait until the spots are dry before you do the highlight. That would make it the easiest. You could add some white and just do it on the red area that you want the highlight and then do it on the black area you want the highlight. And you could still probably do it when it's wet, but it would be much easier when it was dry. Take some of my white and some yellow. It's a little bit yellowed. And do some spots on the back. Above the black of the head, but behind the black spot we did. Like that. And the shadow is not really as big as the ladybug, so I'm going to make the shadow bigger. Alright, and now I'm going to rinse that out. So any areas where the black is coming too far, just, you can just wipe off. And in this picture, I don't see any of his legs underneath, probably because the shadow is so dark. I mean, there might be one, but it I kind of covered it by the shadow. That. All right. Like that. And then. So if it was dry, you could just take this white and go over the highlight area. Since it's still a little wet, I'm going to go over just the red area of the highlight. And just go on the red, don't touch the black. But I would suggest waiting until it was dry. I'm just doing this because it's in the video and I, it'll take a while for it to dry. But can even take some titanium white right here where it's even lighter. Just go over it some. 
and then take the titanium white or the mixing white and we'll go over some of the black the black spot with it some of this black spot too all right that's pretty good it's It's going to take a little bit more white and then I'll be done. Just put a little bit more right there. Alright, there we go. So there's the ladybug. And since I already have this small brush, I don't try to sign the paintings with brushes very often. But I'll try it. It's just since I haven't tried it in a while. So I'm going to water down my white. I'm just trying to sign it with the white. Alright, so there we go. It didn't do too bad. It actually probably did better than my white pen because my white pen is different than my black pens. But, there you go. Alright, so there's the butterfly and the water drops. It was longer than I expected it to be, but not bad. So, there's the water drops um, and the but uh, ladybug. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a like and subscribe if you did. Um, I post a video every Friday on my channel, so if you hit Emily Powers Art right below the video, it'll take you to my channel and you can see some of my other tutorials. Um, I'll put up on the screen real quick the schedule that I have for the rest of the month. So um, there you can see the paintings that we have coming up. So, um, they'll be on my channel soon. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you liked painting it. And hopefully it'll, it taught you how to be able to paint some water drops and a ladybug. And thanks for watching.